Hi guys, it's Macabusy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are doing Mother Song by Aurora who I haven't heard but I've seen interviews with her on TikTok and she seems like crazy wee pixie type thing. She was giving me very very strong modern day Bjork type vibes and if she is as good as Bjork musically then I'm in for a fucking treat. I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite excited for this one, to be honest. Heard nothing but good things, but I've deliberately held off on listening to it because I wanted to check it out on the channel for you guys to be able to see it. So, we're going to strap in, we're going to listen to it, and then we're going to put it onto the emo scale and decide how emo is Aurora. euthanasia I'm, I'm basing that entirely on the line about killing her for mercy also is she Icelandic because she seems very Icelandic I'm, I'm getting heavy heavy Bjork vibes musically it's more like Susan Sunfer or Siri Nielsen they're both Scandinavian I think I think Siri Nielsen might be Norwegian, and I think Susan Sunfer may be Swedish. I think. In my head, there's like a small group of kind of Scandinavian female singer-songwriters who are eccentric as fuck, and that kind of genuine eccentric way, like, they're all astonishingly good singer-songwriters. I fucking love this kind of music. Her voice is beautiful, and I don't even think that she's particularly giving it that much effort at this point. She doesn't seem to be straining in any way, and her voice is beautiful. Okay, so the song's not about euthanasia. The song is about being unalived. She can see from the guy's, the perpetrator's eyes, that he's seen it as an act of mercy, which is fairly fucking unsettling. I like a challenging song as much as the next man, but at the same time, I'm always then left sitting here whilst I'm doing these reactions, just thinking, fuck, how, how do I go about, <laughs> like, 
talking about this. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> that, was fu that was fucking astonishing. That was incredible. Holy fuck. Okay, so the lyrics made more sense at the end when she then kind of like extrapolated on it a bit because it was basically a mercy killing because he was trying to save her from the harsh realities of life that was going to be coming up upon her and that was how he saw it as a mercy killing which is fucking mental. You did get people like that, so I didn't really say that much. But that was so that was so good. Quite a difficult subject matter to be talking about. I like the way that she framed it in the first person perspective. Which would seem weird telling a story from her perspective as she is getting killed. But it's not dissimilar from the way that Shakespeare used to do that. Shakespeare did that quite a like quite a bit. There's the very famous bit in Macbeth where the wee boy gets killed and the, he utters the line, you have killed me mother, just as exposition to kind of explain to the audience what, it, what exactly is happening, even though they're fucking watching it at the time. Um, it's also very similar to the entirety of The Lovely Bones. The first chapter in particular is detailing a really gruesome event from her point of view as she's telling it. As you're reading it, it's deeply, deeply uncomfortable because of the point of view that it's been picked from. But then when she then goes, well, it's because like, you're then following me in the afterlife. After it, it's kinda, like that's how it makes sense to be telling it that way in that book. But it's a fucking deeply uncomfortable read. Yeah, that was kinda brilliant. That was, that was really powerful and beautiful. And I definitely need to check out more of her stuff. Okay, emo scale. Boom, we're just gonna put it right up there. That's where that's gone, right? There we go, that was fucking quick. Guys, let me know in the comments below. What did you think of that song? Did you like that song? Did you not like that song? Do you like Aurora? And if so, what's the next song of hers that I should check out? I've been Marco Busy, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>